Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I have three great recipes for you today. This is like a faux fish taco, some stuffed potato pancakes with a creamy dressing, and a vegan pizza with cauliflower crust. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so the first thing I wanna say is all of my recipes will be down in the description box below. Just click on show more and it will open it all up and you can see all of my recipes written out in full. So make sure and watch the video to see how I'm doing it, how I'm putting everything together. And this first recipe is going to be a stuffed potato pancake with a creamy sauce on top. It is so, so good and it's very versatile. I, I wanna hurry up and say all of this um, so I can get to a topic I wanna talk to you about. But uh, this dough that I'm making for the potato pancake, it can be altered. So you can take those, tear off bits of this dough. It's a very firm dough and you could roll it into the shape of like a tater tot and you could put them in their air fryer or your oven or uh, fry them in some type of oil on your stovetop if you wanted. And it would also make a really good crust type base for like a frittata or um, a veggie pie or something. It's just so versatile. So I'm using a baked potato, a really giant baked potato, but you could use mashed potatoes that don't have butter or milk in them. You can use vegan butter and you can use uh, like a soy milk or almond milk or something um, if you prefer. But uh, yeah, definitely give this recipe a try. Okay, so I wanted to share a couple of verses with you that I've read and they actually made me think of you. So we've gone through a lot in 2020 and 2021 is off to a rocky start. So yeah, like I said, these verses made me think of you. I am reading out of the King James Bible. I'm a King James girl and this is in Thessalonians chapter one, starting in verse three. And it says, we are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because that your faith grows exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all towards each other abounds, so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of God for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God that you be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you also suffer. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that Obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, like I said, these verses just really made me think of all of you. And I wanted to give you hope and faith that uh, don't give up. Keep going and don't grow weary in doing well. So, back to our recipes here. Um, you can see here I've added some of that filling on top, which is really good also. Um, but yeah, definitely give this recipe a try. Okay, so for this next recipe, I am making a vegan pizza. And I've made vegan pizzas before and made my own crust or bought a gluten-free whole wheat dough and then just rolled it out. But this time I'm trying the cauliflower crust and it's pre-made. Um, Definitely look through the ingredients in the store. And I did talk about that in the first video I did for this fast this year in my grocery haul. Um, make sure and look through the ingredients in the grocery store because I've discovered a lot of things that say vegan are, you look through the ingredients and it has milk in it or it has eggs in it and that's not vegan 
<laughs> so you just got to be really careful when you're buying something. It might say vegan on it, but you really need to look through the ingredients and make sure that it doesn't have anything in it that you're not wanting to eat right now. So another thing is I'm making my own sauce and I'm using a tomato paste, a little water, and the seasonings that I want. And I would definitely say you're gonna wanna make your own tomato sauce because if you buy a pizza sauce or tomato sauce from the store, it's guaranteed to have sugar in it. So, um, and honestly, it tastes better when you make it, it has a richer tomato flavor when you use a tomato paste and make your own. So my extra, extra firm tofu has been sitting on those paper towels and draining out. I have just discovered extra, extra firm tofu. I love it so much more. Uh, the texture is just a lot more dense and it doesn't hold as much water. And um, I've added seasonings that really brought out the flavor and it just really tasted like sausage like you get a pizza with sausage on it that's what this tasted like to me if i had fennel seeds i would have sprinkled a little bit on there um but i don't have any but i think that that would really enhance that sausage flavor but yeah this was really really good um actually i made this pizza and i'm editing this video a couple days later so I'm actually gonna make this pizza again today. <laughs> it was so good, my husband absolutely loved it. He's pretty easy to please though. Um, I'm a little bit more picky. Um, we tried a vegan mac and cheese yesterday and I'm not sure if I liked it or not. It was the Annie's brand. It's gluten-free, it's vegan. Um, and I looked through all of the ingredients. The pasta is made with ri brown rice and quinoa, and the cheese is the cheese sauce is a vegan sauce, and and it was all right. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I think I think that it would be good with like a chili mixed in with it, like a vegan chili. So that might be something I'll try again because I have another box of it, so I might try it again, but. This pizza turned out so good. Um, I would definitely say that the cauliflower crust, I, I couldn't tell. It just tasted like a crust to me. So um, if, if that's something that you would worry about, maybe wouldn't like a cauliflower taste, it didn't have one. So, um, but yeah, for this next recipe, I'm gonna use some jackfruit. Normally when I buy jackfruit, I go for the barbecue flavor, but this time I'm trying the uh, lime and cilantro. And I'm just gonna make everything as I would with fish tacos. So I'm cutting up my ingredients, I'm adding extra. I did taste it and it does have an amazing flavor already, but I never just go with stuff how it is. I always have to add something. I can't be the only one who does that. Um, but I'm also making a vegan um, cabbage slaw to go on it. So this is like the same type of cabbage slaw that I would use on a fish taco, except I'm using a vegan mayonnaise instead of sour cream, which is what I would normally use. So I'm zesting half of a lime to go in there. I just really wanted a very strong lime flavor. And this recipe is so amazing. It's probably one of my top favorites. Um, like I said, I had never tried this flavor in the jackfruit before. And if you've never tried jackfruit, it definitely has a meat texture to it, but it is a fruit. So when you dump it out of the package into your skillet, you're gonna wanna kinda break it up a little bit, um, but it, and it's very, very firm. So I can't say enough about this recipe in particular. It is just so good, so much flavor. 
Um, each of the flavors combined together were just so amazing. It's fresh, it's bright, that lime just brightens everything up. It's definitely a fresh, it's almost like a summer type food. It's just so good. So anyway, um, if you only try one of my recipes, I would say try this one. Although the potato pancakes are really, really good. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy these recipes. I hope you enjoy the Bible verses that I shared with you. I hope they encourage you that the the Lord is on your side and he's watching and he sees the trouble you endure is your manifest token of his approval of you. So anyway, I will talk to you guys in the next video. So until then, you have a great day. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.